Boom. All right, what's going on, you guys? It's Royce Jacob, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about why I'm super bullish on ticker symbol RNA or Moderna, as you know. Okay, so first things first, uh, I'm all, I want to show you um, my current Moderna positions just to show you that I'm not talking out of my ass right now. I'm actually putting my money where my mouth is. Okay, so again, this is uh, I'm super bullish on Moderna. This is currently my largest mid to long term um, options contract position. And um, again, I said said mid to long term because these both of these uh, contracts that I have do expire on July 17th. So I have 17 50 dollar contracts that again expire on july 17th and i have five 48 dollar contracts that also expire on 717 okay so again the total value of these 22 contracts is 4141 so 4141 dollars um it's not crazy it's not super crazy but again this is my this is currently my largest mid to long term options position okay so money where my mouth is um Again, I'm, I just wanted to show you guys that I'm not talking out of my ass right now. Okay, so um, also I wanted to show you those just in case you wanted to get invested if you are involved in, um, in options on Robinhood or any other platform, any other trading platform, then um, I do think that those are pretty good ones to go to um, or at least or maybe even farther out. Okay, so um, in, in this market right now, we don't know with all the volatility and um, how crazy just all the economics involved in everything are. So I think it's, it is smart in my personal opinion, if you are going to get involved in these options to go mid to long term, at least 45 days out. Um, but again, ideally a few months out just because the market is so crazy right now. Um, it's not as dangerous and you still get to reap a lot of the rewards uh, if this stock does pop, because I do feel like if it starts popping, it's going to pop big. Okay. So yeah, again, I just want to show you guys that I'll close this off right now and then we can get down to the real stuff. Okay, good there. And let's minimize myself as well. I'll get my fat head out of the way so you guys can see the good stuff, okay? All right, so this is a chart of um, Moderna that I have on TradingView. And we'll actually get to this last. This might look a little intimidating if you're not super familiar with uh, technical analysis, but trust me, it's not. And we'll get to that uh, at the end, actually, because I want to go over the fundamentals first. I feel like right now um, in this current economic environment, the fundamentals, um, especially around a company like this, where it's playing so towards such a sensitive subject um, in the coronavirus, that um, the fundamentals right now heavily outweigh the technicals, although the, the technicals are very strong as well. Okay, so first things first, what is Moderna? So Moderna Inc. is a Cambridge, Massachusetts based biotechnology company that is focused on drug discovery and drug development based on messenger RNA. The company creates synthetic mRNA that can be injected into patients to help them create their own therapies. Okay, so I've actually been a fan of Moderna for a long time now, um, long before the whole COVID vaccine thing was a thing. And um, the, the methods they use, that, that, um, that method of creating synthetic mRNA that can be injected into you, pretty much what that does is, is it enables your own body and um, kind of encourages your own immune system to fight off the virus as as opposed to a completely synthetic drug. So I, I like that practice. It's a more, in a sense, it's a more natural practice than a lot of other just completely synthetic practices. So um, again, I mess, I mess with the company heavy um, even before this, but along with this, with this current vaccine and the progress they're making with this vaccine, I am hyper bullish and I really, really believe in Moderna as of right now. Okay, so this first piece of news came out yesterday or a couple days ago, sorry. And this is huge. Okay, so the title is um, Johnson & Johnson, which is J&J, &J, and Moderna signed deals with the U.S. to produce huge quantities of possible coronavirus vaccines. All right, and I'll just read this first part. Um, the U.S. government has cut deals with Johnson & Johnson and Moderna, Inc., and said it is in talks with at least two other companies to prepare, the, uh, to prepare them to produce mass quantities of coronavirus vaccines, even before safe and effective ones become available. Okay, so that's huge. The U.S. government straight up just contracted Moderna to produce vaccines, okay? And again, this is a hypersensitive topic, hypersensitive time. The government is just gonna push money at whatever may provide uh, a valid, a, um, just kind of a valid uh, relief to all of this. And Moderna, as well as Johnson & Johnson, then there's Regeneron, there's a few other companies that are in this space, but, um, Again, the, the fact that they've signed a contract, they've contracted Moderna directly 
to make as many vaccines as possible is is ridiculously bullish like that's a contract with the united states government who's who's currently just printing trillions of dollars um is huge and and to be real right now you you can't put a price on health like all of the devastation that this is causing the entire world not just the united states um if a company can come up with with again a valid a valid relief to to this situation to this coronavirus um, pandemic then they deserve to be compensated extremely okay this isn't just this isn't just hype this is real okay so that's a big reason that uh, that's probably the primary reason I'm, I'm so biased and so bullish on Moderna is because they are providing a real situation to a very, very real problem that is currently um, plaguing the entire world. OK, so this is just kind of uh, where they're at right now. So they did start phase one clinical trials. Um, the title is Moderna hopeful of phase one data for COVID-19 vaccine by summer. Um, analyst reiterates by. OK, so. Um, Prior to reading this, the analyst ratings on Moderna are um, up there with the best I've ever seen. They have nearly 100% buy ratings uh, via analysts who are the individuals who uh, professionally analyze stocks and determine whether they're worth buying or not. And it's rare to see a, a near 100%, if not 100% buy rating um, when there is a lot of analysts involved. Okay, so just the, the small part of this article that I wanted to read um, read as follows. The messenger RNA specialist is developing mRNA-1273, a vaccine against COVID-19, currently in phase one testing, and has said there could be immunogenicity data available in June or July. The company is also manufacturing supply and expanding production capacity at its Norwood facility for a phase two trial involving elderly subjects. Okay, so that is amazing. They're moving quick. Again, this is such a big problem and such a big deal right now that, um, I think even the FDA and, and all of the all of the entities that are involved in kind of passing these trials are going to do all they can to expedite a potential solution to this. OK, so Moderna is is um, in my mind leading the pack again, like I mentioned, Johnson Johnson Regeneron. There's some other companies that are doing well and definitely making progress. But from what I've read so far, Moderna is the furthest ahead. And again, I am biased towards the method of the of the mRNA injections to allow your immune system to fight uh, fight off the antibodies as opposed to just a completely synthetic drug that'll fight them off. So um, yeah, that is why I'm hyper bullish on Moderna as opposed to, again, Regeneron or Johnson Johnson, these other companies. Although if one of them comes up with a successful vaccine, I can't be mad at that. I'll be extremely happy. Although um, this position might be a little compromised. If, if we get a solution to this, I'll be ecstatic nonetheless and i think the entire world will as well again any any company or any uh biotech company who is able to create a solution uh to this will uh, deserve to be compensated heavily and they will and the market will reflect that okay so that's the fundamentals those two those are the two key fundamental reasons that i am i, I believe so heavily in moderna right now um, i keep saying bullish if you guys don't know what bullish means that is just kind of a trader investor term for hyper optimistic or um, really, really heavily believe in the prospects of something. OK, so those are the fundamentals covered right now. We'll just cover these technicals because the technicals look amazing as well. So, again, this is trading trading view. This is a chart I have covered. Um, let's first go to this upward trend line that that Moderna has currently been or been in since March 13th. OK, so for almost three weeks now, Moderna has Moderna has created this upward trend line. And it's using this trend line as a really good spot of, um, of support. OK, so every time it bounces off this trend line, you can see now, even today, it just it's just about to bounce off that trend line. OK, so that's good as well, um, along with this top line of support that it's created. OK, so it's kind of creating a beam um, with this with this top support line and this bottom line of resistance or sorry, this top line of resistance and the bottom line of support and um, Again, looking at this technicals, I expect over the rest of this week, Moderna, if it successfully bounces off this um, off this lower line of support, then I, I have to assume it will reach this top line of resistance just because that is what the trend's doing. OK, so that's kind of covering the shorter term, but I've actually I want to scale out a little bit here and show you guys this long term rise. This is called a rising wedge. OK, so you can see this top line 
of, of resistance right here. Um, it's actually support and resistance in this case, and it's right at about $30, which is a very, very strong psychological number as well. It's a nice even number. And again, psychologicals, uh, psychological numbers, uh, psych psychology and the uh the market psyche as a whole is is kind of what determines ta that's what t uh, ta or technical analysis is in my mind is just more reading market psychology and market patterns okay or it's almost psychological patterns it's not market patterns it's psychological patterns okay so here we have like i said this this huge rising wedge okay so it started back here in february 24th so um just over a month ago so about five weeks ago it started this and it's kind of been following this trend you can see here that along with this trend line that i showed you prior beginning um, around the 13th this one's been in play uh for for two weeks on top of that okay so i drew this out a while ago right here was the first time i drew it out and it's actually playing out super well right now okay so again it's holding this top line right here this is the top of the the wedge and then this upward trend line and this line of support is acting as kind of the you know the slope up to create the wedge okay so it's very bullish that is a, a very classically bullish technical analysis pattern is a rising wedge and i have to assume that if again it continues to hold this line of support and continues to stay within this range that once it reaches around here if it does unless um if it if it falls over here then within the next week or so we should see it pop up again because it's such the rising wedge is such a bullish pattern but it could also if you're going on a kind of a shorter term time frame technical analysis route then it should follow this trend up and um again following this if again i i don't know if this is going to happen again ta is never 100 percent fundamentals play uh, way more important role in my mind but ta is a great secondary uh, analysis method okay so again if it follows this more short-term trend i would not be surprised to see moderna hit 40 dollars when did, okay so say this plays out perfectly as as i've drawn it out moderna should hit 40 dollars on april 7th okay so today is currently the the first um so in, a, in about a week's time Hopefully, early next, late this week, early next week, Moderna could potentially hit, um, potentially hit forty dollars. And again, the fundamentals are lining up, the technicals are lining up, um, everything in my mind is lining up so well for Moderna. And I feel like some of you, if you, if you clicked on this video, are thinking the same. And um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think about Moderna, why you're invested, what your rationale behind investing right now is. Um, if it's the technicals, if it's the fundamentals, or if like me, it's both of them put together, which um, I feel like in any um, in any investment, you want to look at both. But again, fundamentals take priority, heavily take priority. Technicals are a great secondary. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you guys think of Moderna. If you guys are planning on investing, if you guys just have any questions to me about um, about Moderna itself, about options, whatever. Um, I actually have a video talking about options, uh, kind of teaching you how to trade options briefly on Robinhood, if you guys are interested in that. I also have a $25 course on trading options on Robinhood, if you guys are interested. Um, it's just a good way to support the channel if you guys appreciate this content. Um, and you get some good knowledge out of it too. And you get direct access to me. That's kind of the best part of that course in my mind is you get direct access to ask me questions if you have any questions in regards to options trading. Okay, so um, do that. Uh, if so, great. If you want to learn, awesome. I have a lot of free content as well. If you want to check that out, always, always watch the free stuff prior to buying anything. That's for any course or uh, anyone trying to sell courses ever. Okay, so, so watch the free stuff. If you feel like you need more, you can check that out. If so, great. If not, no worries. Okay, so um, also I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed as well. Um, all, the, all that good YouTube stuff. So give it a like if you enjoyed this or if you appreciate it or if it provided any value and subscribe if you want to catch any more content like this. Okay, so I've been, I've been trying to be as consistent as I can and put out as much content about um, the entire investing space. So options trading, crypto is doing really well right now. I'm very into that. So if you guys are interested in investing um, almost in any market, I, I, I like to consider myself a pretty uh, well diversified investor. And um, yeah, so just subscribe if you want to catch more or drop a comment if you uh, want to talk about anything pretty much. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching. I Again, I hope this brought you some value. And always remember, guys, make waves in these markets. Until next time.
Peace. Moderna. Oh, shoot.